Hello and welcome to Photoshop Icebreakers. My name is Anna McNaught and in addition to art and teaching Photoshop, I also travel the world for a living. We've worked with hundreds of clients from tourism boards to brands to five-star hotels around the world. But these perfect photos don't always happen naturally, so today we are going to learn some simple editing techniques to help you take your travel photos to the next level. Let's get started. So here we have this really cool photo from Bora Bora, but we wanna clean this up and make it perfect for our client. So we're gonna go ahead and use our spot healing brush tool to do that. Now, normally you might have the healing brush tool over here, but if we just hover down, we open up spot healing brush tool and we can go ahead and adjust the hardness or softness of this. We'll kind of start right around 80%. You also have content aware fill, create texture and proximity match, but we wanna be on content aware. So we're gonna zoom in and just start to get rid of all the areas where this coral is overlapping on the ocean. And it's super easy, you're just going to paint over these marks that you don't want. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint all of these out and then I'll come back and we'll go to the next step. So there we go, there's our before and our after, very easy, just using one tool and simply cleaning that up. But what do we do about these more complicated areas around the boat? And so we're just going to use our lasso tool and select most of this one here. And then we're gonna come up to select and mask and use our refine edge tool to clean this up right here and then we're going to click OK. So now did a pretty good job of selecting some of that and let's just see if we go up to edit, content aware fill, and that looks really good. We can touch that up with the healing brush tool or the clone stamp tool. Click OK, and that is a great start. So now I'm just gonna clean these areas up with the clone stamp tool and we'll meet back here to do a little bit more work with our healing brush. We got those all cleaned up and now we're just gonna go into the background over here on the island with our spot healing brush, just just paint out some of these houses. And it does a really good job of just filling these palm trees back in and making our life so much easier. And just like that, we have a gorgeous, pristine image, but there's a little bit more that I wanna do to this. And I want to bring back some of our sky. So I'm going to crop this image. I'm gonna rotate it a little bit to make sure our horizon's straight. And then I'm going to just drag it up just like that. And then we're going to double click, set in those crops. And then we'll just use the rectangular marquee tool to select the sky that's missing here. Go up to edit, content aware fill. And just like that, we have have replaced our sky and then we'll merge those two layers together now we're gonna add an adjustment layer and just go down into color balance and just adjust this a little bit to add in some of those bright tropical hues we can change our midtones our shadows and our highlights so we'll just do a little bit of adjusting here to kind of bring some of those greens back and then into the highlights bringing in some of those bright watercolors and just like that, we are done. So here is our before and our after. The spot healing brush tool is such a great tool to clean up any photos, whether it's for a client or yourself and you wanna get rid of unwanted objects or anything that might make this picture a little less spectacular. Here's another example of a travel photo in Olympic National Park where the client wanted a picture of James and they also wanted a picture of me. Unfortunately, the picture that we got of me was after the fog rolled in and I have absolutely no view behind me. So we're gonna have to take this picture of James and put the background into the photo of me. Let's grab the lasso tool and we're going to select all of this rock down here all the way up around James, my wonderful, amazing husband, and down to the other side of the rock just like that. Now we're gonna go edit content aware fill and you can see here that Photoshop gives us an auto output. So we can also edit this auto output. We only want the lake to replace where James is here. We don't need any of the mountains or trees. So using our plus or minus, we can either add to the selection or subtract from the selection. You can also come over here to custom to paint in your own. We're gonna use auto to save some time and we're just gonna paint out these areas where it's giving us clouds and anything else of the sky. So we just want the water selection. Election. And there we go. Sorry, James, you are gone from this picture. We need to use this background. Command E and merge these together. And now go back over to the picture of me. We want to just duplicate this background layer here. We'll call this layer Anna. 
And then we want to go up to Windows and down to Properties. We have some really easy, quick actions where we can remove background or select subject. So we're going to click Select Subject, and then we're going to click Remove Background. And then we'll just turn off our background, and there we go. A perfect clean cut. And now we're going to put in this other background. So we'll drag it down, use our Move tool, and drag it into our background pull it down into place, and then drag it behind our layer. There is a perfect image of me looking out on the lake so that the client can have one of James and one of me without the fog interrupting this image. So lastly, what we might wanna do is just add an adjustment layer over the whole thing to brighten it up, bring in a little bit of contrast, and make this look really good. And then we can add in a color balance adjustment layer and adjust this to our liking. So here is our before and our after. Just like that, we are able to easily fix our lake background and we can edit these to our liking and then hand them over to the client. I hope you learned something new in this Photoshop icebreakers tutorial and I can't wait to see what you create and where you travel to.